Hi everybody and welcome to a surprise painting session. Hi everybody and welcome to a surprise oh. painting session. Hi everybody and welcome to a surprise painting session. One second. It's just going. I'll fix it. Oh, I love it. It's just going. Keeping it going. Sorry. I know oh, it's this. It's just like being followed. That was super awesome. Okay, now that the the recycling of my voice is gone. Um yeah, I decided I wanted to work on my Mordor entry for the Mordor competition. And so, why not stream, right? So, let's get started. Yeah. Drive by duck. Drive by ducking. Oh, we have taken to, we still are hiding all of the ducks. This is our special duck. It's silent. But. But that's it. Oh, you got switch. Oh. Cora's running the show tonight. It's, it's my awesome. First time. Hi, guys. So this is our special duck, but yeah, we we've we still are doing the the hiding the ducks all over the house, but we've literally taken to yelling "drive by ducking" and throwing them at each other. So it's kind of awesome. Drive no, yes, <laughs> it. okay. So uh, as a lot of you guys know, I am painting Tiamat from Reaper for the Michael competition, the Mortar competition, which I did not get a link ready for Cora. Oh, but we will get links and stuff in there um, but I'm gonna start kind of painting so basically I've already gotten a lot of my base ready to go um, I did a lot of the work of getting it the clay put in and made little rocks I've got a whole bunch of little rocks here I can't pick them all up at the moment but I'll paint those and put them in I've got a clay base the base for the actual dragon. I made a sandy area for the river that's going to run through. And then I put a little special area over here of lava. So we're going to start painting everything. Yay! Because I haven't actually like painted anything on this guy yet. I have just done the... Well, I mean, I base coated the, the Reaper part portion of it. And his legs and feet kind of sit... In this area. <laughs> oh, I saw it. Pop Hi, Tech <laughs> Priest. How are you tonight? I need this, is what I need. Because I want to do, I'm going to work on the lava section first. And Cora is actually working on a entry for the competition as well. I am doing a boar demon from Reaper. Yes. Oh, fun. Together. Ooh, Tech Priest is playing Hero Quest. Yeah. Since Mother decided not to do the rules. I didn't do the rules. I apologize. I did not read. I just said, ooh, cool, because it is cool. This is who I am painting. So, like, literally, Cora and I are sitting my base. across from each other. Cora's going to run the show while they paint, and I'm going to sit over here and just paint like a lazy bitch. I am going to actually just put my hair up and down the entire stream. There you go. That works. But this actual, actually, this competition is open to anyone. Uh, the only stipulation is that it is due by the end of the month. And also, and the, the end, of the, end of the year. And also, it is, um, it must be a reaper. So that's really the only stipulations. I will be painting here because this is the no-no spot. Yes, we're not going to get paint anywhere near the computer. As per usual, I feel like I have forgotten something. That's okay. And we will be doing a giveaway tonight at some point. I have no idea when. Towards the end. Uh, because this really is just like, I felt like painting. And I decided why not stream? Because there's a whole lot of base work that I do off camera. And this is the fun part. So I wanted to do some of it on camera. I really like that spot that looks like a square. Like, it's close. No, I can't actually see that. The opposite side of that spot. Tell me left or right. Closer to you. Closer? That. This. Oh, yes. This is like that, a nice that little section spot. I really like. Yeah. 
Now I have 60 milliliters of water here. Do you think that's too much considering it's half and half? Yes, that is way too much. You will not need that much. But I am also covering all of this. Like sides as well or just the top? All sides as well. Because if you cover the, the sides as well, you may end up not being able to see through it like you're wanting the light to come well, through. Well, I'm only using the napkins on the side, and I'm going to do thin layers to make it look like overflowing lava. Gotcha. So it's going to be super thin. Um, Still probably won't need that much. But it won't hurt to have that? Well, it might hurt because we'll run out of glue. It's easy enough to remix more. That is true. So I think you're better off taking about half of that away. I'm literally just using the uh, six yeah. cups. And I didn't actually measure when I did it for the first time. Is it half and half? Well, I know. But I'm, what I'm saying is it's an eyeball kind of half and half sort of thing. It should be half and half. It should not be an unbalanced thing, but my eyeballs are better than yours. My eyeballs bring all the boys to the yard. You say that, but you're blind. I know. So yeah, uh, surprise stream, but why the hell not? And I've got my coffee, and I've got my kid, and we're I painting. And we're happy, so. It looks so weird to put PVA in water. I know. It's sort of like that um, sand that doesn't get wet. <laughs> yeah. So I was watching YouTube because YouTube can teach us everything. <laughs> no, that <Daddy>, ghost. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to be quoting ghosts constantly. Not sponsored, but nope. watch it. But well, yeah. Um,. But anyway, it, uh, it's it's really cool up show, and uh, so we'll be quoting it constantly. But anyway, I was watching YouTube, and there was a guy who was working on a um, diorama for his train. And what he did was took PVA and water and... He used toilet paper. I'm using a napkin because I have crappy cheap napkins. So why not use that instead? Gonna need a bigger brush. <laughs> um, gonna need a bigger boat. I'm also going to be constantly quoting Jaws, even though I've never seen it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, what he did was he mixed half and half PVA glue with water, and again, Elmer's glue would do the same thing. And kind of. So no, it's just what we have in our house. Um, but it is what he did was he put the PVA glue down with the you know the water mix, put that down, and then he um mixed it, kind of pushed it or and pulled it around with the um with the napkin. And what it ends up doing is making textured ripples, basically. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Don't do that. Where's the base? Watermelon. Thank <laughs> you. No. Although I think you have to say it three times. So basically, that's what I made. And it looks like ripples in water. So this was just kind of a test. It was just a piece of cardboard. Or wood, I mean. Uh, but Cora is going to be using the same technique to make flowing lava, which should be amazing. I am hoping. That is why I am using the cheap plastic container. Yes. Donated by Angie. Or Sunbrand. Same person. Same person, but I'm trying to use their stream name instead. The gamer tag? Yes, because technically she prefers that name anyway. Oh, my nose.
kind of want to angle the camera a little bit better because we can see you, but we can't quite see what you're doing. That's a little better. I don't want to go any farther because it might be hitting the uh, curtain. Yeah. No one needs to see the curtain. Curtain of doom. Whoa. Pay attention to the man in front of the curtain. Right. So we've got this green screen up in our living, basically our middle of our house now, and it's like we're just constantly making Wizard of Oz jokes. Because why wouldn't you? Every time I want to see Dad, I'm just like, hey, man behind the curtain. Technically, when I do this on a smaller scale, this, once the glue, it's all air dry clay, air dry clay, air dry clay, and it will crack and, and come apart from the base itself, and then I would pick it up and then glue it back down, um, but I'm not worried about it on this, mainly, like, the cracks won't even show through because... I'm going to be adding grass to all of this. So I just want it to look like painting it brown to make sure it looks like dirt underneath the grass. Because I absolutely don't want to see white underneath the grass. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but. I just forgot that I had it one specific step that I wanted to take extra. Did not do that. What was that? Add it to, to this mixture so it was a light coloring so it would be less difficult for the light to go through it. Gotcha. It's not too late to turn back. No, it's not. You haven't done much. Uh, you want to hand me a red paint? Acrylic. I'm thinking this is the probably the better option. You don't need much anyway, and I don't really have a good acrylic red, so I think that's probably your better option. Ty is on puppy duty tonight since we're streaming. It was funny because I, I had a commission piece that I was working on. I had to, I was painting another koi dragon, and I was just sitting over here painting so that you know I could basically sit next to my husband while we were both working and um as soon as i started painting over here sir was like nope i'm out <laughs> i don't i know what you guys are doing I'm like no dude we're not it's fine yeah sir sir came and ran and got me and he wanted to go on a walk so like, and i didn't even know mom was over here so i was just like okay let's go on a walk then and it is freaking cold outside yeah not so pleasant I was today freezing out there and then i realized wait mom's over here painting he thinks oh, i was wasting my time yep of course it doesn't hurt to get take him on walks but that was when it's so freaking cold out and i didn't bring my uh yeah whatever the heck it's called i brought my jacket i almost didn't but i did should have brought my uh scarf that's what it is i should have brought my scarf too or at least a face mask because my mouth was frozen yeah it is definitely one benefit of having so many face masks around the house is they're not just for covid they're to keep your face warm one of the things i also did when i was doing all the clay work um was basically i like literally just grabbed a handful of clay and shoved it straight down and put it where i needed it to go all of these paints are in like the worst position possible i well i did i put them all over there thinking oh that'll be an easy place to reach them and i was an idiot um but i literally like just shoved all the clay down straight down into the the frame that i bought and uh then i took a rock and yeah i got a rock um no, i was laughing because dad just came in with like yeah like peek away. over the corner cover yeah um basically i i just shoved it all down and then i went and did uh i got a rock and i like I you can rock. barely see i've got little dents all over just so that if it shows through and in some places it should show through. It should look like mud underneath the grass. Um, if it does show through, it has some texture for it 
to it, not for it. Words. <laughs> but I want it to look natural. I, I want it to look good and textured and everything else. It's like the top layer of my blue is red and the rest of it's just pink. Well, keep in mind it's PVA glue, so right now it looks pink. Only the red. Uh, it should. Oh. Promises. Worst case scenarios, I have to add a little pink. <laughs> yeah. But again, it's also if this doesn't work, your model is not glued down to it, so yeah. it's easy enough to redo. Because you should always experiment, see what happens. So you can see, like, whenever I was making the base, I got color all over the, the edges here. So I specifically painted these edges to look really good, um, but I didn't care about what the top looked like because once I'm done and everything is, no more paint is going to be near this base, I will go very carefully around the top and make it all black um, just to take away any distraction from it. And I will be pouring in the these areas, the sandy areas, I will be pouring resin so it'll look like water. And that noise is god awful. Stupid brush. What? Every time someone says stupid something, the, my mind immediately goes to tricks are for kids. Why? Stupid rabbit tricks are for kids. My entire childhood, that's why. So the intention is for this to look like a mountain and this... Um, the dragon pieces that are car will be carved into the mountain sort of thing. And then uh, this is all like the mount, you know, the, the lower parts of the mountain and the hill or whatever you want to call it. And the rocks and stuff. I got a rock. I like rocks. As you know, because I've already painted one. I actually got one of my friends' uh, Christmas presents in today, and oh, it was so cool! They got <laughs> the face. I was like, oh my god, the face was awesome. I was about to call you Karen from like Avenue Five. Oh, <laughs> got Karen mouth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just playing that scene in my head. Um, <laughs> I scared myself because it was so delayed. <laughs> that is so stupid. That is so awesome. Oh, that is so dumb. Um, but in their Christmas present, there was also an extra gift of rocks. Because it was like a witchy thing, and you know, witches like rocks. It was crystals, is what it was. Yes. I mean, it was technically rocks. Yes. But... It is actually rocks. It's geodes and things like that, but... It was really cool. It really was. I was very happy about it. I almost kept them for myself, but I'm like, no. She literally makes jewelry, and she can use these in jewelry and then re-gift them to me. <laughs> Which is the best way to do stuff. <laughs> Here, I know you like this, and I'm pretty sure you'll be tempted to make me something. They can't really see that on this. You I'm bouncing with got it. it like really close for a second there. I was like, is it bouncing or is she just being weird? So you can see how it's they're building up texture with the ta with the napkins. <laughs> the giggles. <laughs> Here you go, baby. No, don't touch them on it. What they only have inside them. <laughs> so who's winning? They're playing Hero Quest. I'm wondering who's winning. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the water competition. Oh no, that's me. Or the other competition. 
No, we don't want anybody else to join. <laughs> I was just about to say, I don't know if you want anyone knowing. I don't want anyone else knowing about that. But... No, I actually, yeah, no, everyone should know about that one. Um, actually, yeah. Um, so if you go to uh, my mini factory and look for, oh, Georgie's going on it. Look for um, Lord what of the, the Print. Uh, just drinks for too long. Drink. Just for anybody who who doesn't know the game Jinx, it's if you say something at the same time, then one person can say Jinx, and the other person can't talk until the way we played it when I was a kid was until your name is said. You can't speak. There's different rules for different houses and all that kind of stuff. I think some people like you can't just can't speak until you buy me a Coke or do something. But for me, it was all, or for my house, it was always until someone, until that person says your name. Um, I am a person who wholeheartedly plays Jinx and I will literally not speak until someone says my name or until that person says my name. Um, she won't even let me say mom. I have well, to say it's her not name. my name. Is I mean, it is mom? what I am. No, it's what I am. It's not my name. I don't identify as mom. Anyway, taxes. <laughs> what? Then pay your taxes. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that I makes all, no sense. The first thing that pops. Anyway, if you go to my mini factory and look up Lord of the Print, he is running a painting competition as well until that deadline is uh, January 31st. And there are some pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Um, prizes. Prizes. Prizes would be the word I'm None looking. of the things I said was wrong. None of it. Them. No, none of it was right. None of it was wrong. None of it was right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the, he's got some, some crazy, crazy, amazing prizes. The top three prizes are... Resin printers. Huge. Amazing. Resin printer is the first prize is like a giant freaking resin printer. 8K. I mean, just phenomenal. So definitely go check it out because it is open to everyone. The stipulation there has to be entered by the 31st of January. And it must be a Lord of the Print print. That's Tongue, t tongue twister but that being said i mean he's got some pretty freaking awesome prints so yeah. my actual problem is i can't decide what to paint not like you know oh i gotta do this i gotta do well, i want to paint this and i want to paint that and i want to paint this I'm like ah. i decided pretty fast i i did not i I literally, it was, my brain was in turmoil for hours. I think we ended up having to do a family meeting to decide which one you were going to do. We literally did. Stood in the in the living room discussing the pers the options and what I should go for and why I should do this over that. and Because he has so many freaking amazing friends. Um, the, he does have a Tiamat version. I think Tech Priest and you and I were talking about... Um, Printing out a large one, Tiamat, for you. Uh, but yes, that is Lord of the Print. And he, and the only reason I'm specifying the one that you and I were speaking about was because I'm actually painting a base for the Reaper Tiamat. <laughs> Which will not qualify. Which will not qualify. <laughs> and I'm not doing another Tiamat. Um no, no, not that. It's just, I mean, come on. It's pestilence. Of course I'm going to do that. Hi, Sawdust. How are you Hello. doing? Two by two, hands of blue. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you had hands of blue. My hands are not blue. They are red. Um, so, yeah, it's it's definitely check it out. And like I said, it's it's free for anybody to enter. And he does have a couple of free minis up there right now. 
to mm. for people to be able to do. But you yeah, you aren't restricted to those. No, he he did give away as a Christmas present. Anybody can go on and download a beholder, which is really a freaking nice beholder. I almost chose it honestly. <laughs> it's really nice. Like you know how he, you you go out there and you can see some pretty cool beholders. This one's like really freaking cool. And I, I actually almost did choose it as well because it's really nice. But then, you know, pestilence. So I had to go with that. I went with death. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's four <laughs> horsemen of the apocalypse and Cora and I picked two of them to paint for the competition. Glad to hear it, Sawdust. I'm glad you're doing good. See, I read part of it. I kind of read it. I decided to that I might as well... No, you should do multiple, multiple, multiple layers. Multiple. Especially on the top. Yes, multiple, multiple, multiple. Well, most of the top is going to be covered with clay. The one that I, this one, it has about seven layers, eight layers before I decided it was done. Yeah. <laughs> it's yours, man. Do what you want. So do do what you want. It's absolutely up to you. Just, I'm trying to keep it thin also so yeah i get that i get that that's what i'm kind of saying i'm like it's it's your thing you do it how you want to do it and the thing i'm worried about is the textures of the napkin are still there but i don't think that's going to go away with more layers um it so the way i got rid of the texture of the napkin was by adding more of the mixture more of the glue more of the glue on top and kind of pushing it around more and just basically like Oh, I can see dots. So I just kind of shove right there. Especially having that stiffer um, brush is really going to help you with that. And considering the bigger area that you're working with, you might want to get a, a bigger, fatter brush like this. That's just like... <laughs> the only reason I grabbed this one is, other than the fact that it's big and I'm doing a large area, is because we have two of them. Yeah. And I made sure before I grabbed it. Oh, I hate that noise. <laughs> Get out of my head. Get out of my head. <laughs> oh, I think the blue's making really horrible effects. What? It's, make, it, it's adding really horrible effects. Everyone heard Cool me. ripple effects. Yes. I heard cool, horrible effects. And same thing. <laughs> it's velvet after all. Yeah. It is oh, so painful. And I it don't know. So I don't know if Max is on here or not. Um... But in case you are, I now know why you're, you don't have your giveaway. Uh, because it just came back in the mail. Yay. So I will ship it out again, but it's going back to Jake's house. But just in case you aren't on here, I will be posting that in Discord later. And we will be doing a giveaway. I think I already said it, but I'm going to say it again, because why not? So at some point tonight, we will decide to, like, hey, I'm waiting for this to dry. I'm waiting for that to dry. Okay, screw it. Let's do the giveaway. I don't know why that sounds so satisfying. It just is. It kind of is. It's like, it probably shouldn't be that satisfying, and yet here it is being super satisfying. Right. Yeah. I can't see what I'm doing in this little groove over here. Why did you roar? Um, because I'm painting a dragon, or I'm painting a base for a dragon, so roar. Yeah, pretty much. I think I actually need to switch to my smaller brush to get in the grooves here. This is my lava section, so I painted my red first. And now I'm painting the black over. Because it was a few bases ago. I f Monsters, bases, I don't know exactly what I was painting at the time. But it's been a little bit yet. Since I discovered that I was painting lava the wrong way round. And I didn't realize she was doing it the wrong way. Otherwise I would have told her she was doing it the wrong way. I think you were keeping your secrets close to the vest, and you weren't going to share your knowledge. Oh, I'm not going to share my knowledge with my clone? 
You're my clone. How many times exactly. do we have to go over this? I was here my first. Clone, clone, your clone. Not cone. Clone. <laughs> clone. <laughs> Dork. Why are we talking about cologne? Oh my god. This is why my head hurts all the time. Yeah, not because of your back. No, not because of my back. Not because of the stupid way I sit. That would not be it. Oh, I hate that noise so much. Me too, and it's right next to me. Uh, Sada said, I don't know why, but when you just said Discord, I thought you said, thought I thought of Disgruntled Accordion. It's a Discord. Mom doesn't do music. She doesn't know. But it is funny. I feel like I'm doing some paper mache. I think that's just what this is. It's just super thin paper mache. Cool. But I've never done paper mache. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Excuse me. It wasn't that loud. Wasn't that scary. Uh, but it you were very loud and very much scary. I'm sorry. I was just a disaccordion. I, I still don't get it. I don't. It's funny because it's like, it's not funny anymore because you keep trying to explain it. I don't get music jokes. I was leaning in to do a detail and freaking creep show. Jackass. How do you not get it? Oh my god, I hate that noise. This ain't the worst thing ever. Oh, it cupped up on the mic a little too. Sorry. Oh, the lava looks so cool. My lava looks cool. No, it doesn't. Can't see mine. Eh. Now that that lava I lava you song is playing in my head. Oh that uh the Disney short? Yeah. Or it might it might have been a Pixar short, I don't know. There's too many shorts nowadays. I only wear pants. See that one I get. <laughs> you tell I like dad jokes. <laughs> Wait, let me turn this back this way. Okay. So I'm going to have to go off camera here because I want this to be on camera for you guys to be able to see, which means I got to come over here to paint. While you're taking your cocoa break, you should put a link in to chat for the Mordor stuff. You didn't get me the Mordor stuff. Go to Twitter. Like, literally, on one of the monitors, go to Twitter. Dork. You're producing. You've got to do the producer work. You said you would get it before. Well, I know, but then I'm I'm old and I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Baby. Baby. So, look in Twitter, search for Mordor Paints. Gareth was on, he'd be able to just like smack it in there. Just do the arm. Copy the link. You know what a link is, right? The the web address, Cora. Okay. Copy the well, web that's address. That's not a web address because I'd be creating the link if you want to act smart about it. Anybody want to adopt the child that's 19? Do dishes. <laughs> Not well. <laughs> How many dishes did you have to redo today? <laughs> it's not my fault. Somebody left butter in a dish. It doesn't change the fact that you need to clean it better. Anyway. You need to not leave so butter in a dish. So that is a link where you can go and find all of the rules for the painting competition that Cora and I are currently working on. And that is going to end on the 31st. At the end of the year. Oh, coffee, 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 coffee. Coco. 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 Mom doesn't 
doesn't know what I'm referencing when I say Coco, and it's kind of disappointing. The big bird from the show. What show? I can't remember. It was the one where the imaginary monsters. Oh, for imaginary creatures. Is that what it's called? I couldn't remember it's, what it was called. something like that, yeah. It's one of my favorite shows as a kid. Oh, I know. I love that freaking thing. And yes, I did. Because you sound exactly like the bird. Oh. Because I've been doing it my entire life. I've got practice. It's yeah, the, I love that bird. It's the only impersonation I can do. Other than mother. I can do... Because <laughs> I already sound like her. <laughs> my favorite impression to do... It's not a chicken. So you're about to do, right? No, I won't do that live on stream. Because I would blow people's... Um... Ears out? No, what do you call them? Speakers. Uh... Oh, God, I don't even know if I can do it anymore. It was the Mojo from, uh... Mojo Jojo. Yeah, Mojo Jojo. <laughs> I love that one. Oh, God. I get, got me every freaking time. Can you tell we like cartoons in this house? Yes. Shh. Shh. Okay, Cora, I need a cup full of glue now. Do you? I do. Do you, Mom? I do. Yes. That would probably have shrank. I don't know how much you need. I got them. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, we need to order more. So I was trying to be careful. Not my button. Look at the clip. We need to order more glue. Just realized I need to paint these first. I think I'm going to go more gray on these. Ooh, I need a tray. <laughs> so these are all my rocks so i'm gonna go back and forth i've got gray and brown in here it's like the only things we ever quote on this show is just cartoons most of the time it's um no Charlie. that's not true we've quoted the office a couple of times the office we've done uh princess ghost bride, princess bride we've done um Exactly. No, no, no. I, I, I literally just had a th Avenue Five. We just did. I think only two of those shows, three of those shows, children should probably not watch. The rest of them are pretty much cartoons. Ah, my flo my rock are flowing down. Too. Going slower so there's less of the noise. <laughs> <laughs> the back of your neck does look awesome, by the way. So, so does the top of your head? It's not nearly as bad as yours because this is what we see when you're working. I don't have good eyes. <laughs> I know. And my glasses don't stay up to my head. I... I was working on that koi dragon today, mm -hmm. and I got to the point where I was doing his um, his eyes, and I literally just took my glasses off. Couldn't see what I was doing when I was gathering my paint, but I could see what I was doing on the dragon itself, and that's all that matters. All that matters is you can see what color your brush is going into. Actually, I was sitting there trying to get paint on my brush, and I would get, I would go over and get the paint, and then I'd come over... And I'd go against the dragon where I wanted it. And I'm like, damn, why is that color not showing up? And I finally leaned way over to my palette and realized I was putting my brush through the dry paint. Because <laughs> I couldn't tell. It was just a big blur of color. <laughs> so I didn't know I wasn't getting actual paint. Oh, it was pretty, pretty pitiful. Pretty funny. Yes. Would have been funnier if I had been streaming and everyone could have seen that I was an idiot. If you were streaming, you wouldn't have done it, though. You would have kept your glasses on. Yeah. The world may never know. The world may never know. I may never know. I don't know. How many does it take to get to the star that keeps it going? Twelve. Incorrect. It's actually closer to 700. Nope. Well, 750 something. No, because I'm just like the owl. <laughs> like, 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 fuck this crunch. <laughs> I wish you were joking. No, you're not. <laughs> Definitely not. 
Uh. People have actually uh, tested it. It's uh, somewhere in the 700 to 800 range. That's just weird, man. That's just weird. There was one person who did it to a, uh, tested it, how long it does it take to get to the center of a jawbreaker. You know, like from Ed, Ed and Eddie, those giant jawbreakers. It took him three days. I don't even remember the number, but it was big. <laughs> I, I just don't even want to know, to be honest. Like, bleh. I don't even know who would buy something to that large to eat. Oh, I've bought them for you kids. What? Why? Why not? It's a big, giant piece of candy, and it's a holiday. Give my kids big, giant, stupid pieces of candy. So weird to me. It was. And even, like, those big, like, oversized suckers that are bigger than your head... When you're a full-grown adult, adult, I've bought you guys those before, too. You guys never eat them. Yeah, I know those, like, spiral lollipops are yeah. like, this long. You buy those, like, almost every year, and we never eat those. I made a mistake. You do that a lot. You also fix them a lot. It's my hand. Can you move your glove? And it's my coffee. I know. I have glue on my hand, so I have to drink my coffee like this. Yeah, I'm like, I have to do coffee like this. Because I do have a clean hand. It's just not the hand I was. I do not have clean hand. You see all of my appendages? Not all of my appendages. Not on my toes. I hear a father. I see a father. Yes. No. I hear a father. It's okay. okay. Now my rocks a teammate. are all colored. So now I'm going to bring this back and I'm just going to kind of start dry brushing on the the mountain side. Meat. It's immediately where my head went. My head. Get out of my head. Now, I don't want this to look like stone exactly. I want it to look like grassy, mountainy. Um, what? You said what to me? Yes. Them. Because, like, I said, they said, I said something and then they said emo. I don't no, really understand. Grassy knoll. Grassy knoll. Okay, I heard emo. Because <laughs> no. you're emo. Incorrect. Um, I am gay. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> square is sometimes a rectangle, rectangle is sometimes a square. Something like that. I'm gay, I don't do math. It's racist. <laughs> no, okay, so Oh my god, you just like completely derailed me because I want there's so Talking many things I want to correct what you just said. There's something about grass and I, I know, but I'm I'm just still like reeling from the square rectangles? Yes. I'm gonna punch you. Ooh. I lava you more. <laughs> That's not possible. Anyway. I want this to look like um No Stupid Head. Yes. I want it to look like a mountain with grass on it. I don't want it to look like stone. but I do want to bring out some of the crevices and stuff like that. So I'm dry brushing, but I won't be dry brushing a bunch. And I will be adding blocking to areas. Stupid phone. You're stupid. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I have got to stop. And it's not that loud. You have it's one not that loud. You I... one facing me. So sorry. Like... I don't even know why I'm cussing. I'm so sorry. I really don't mind. I'm like... speaking to mobile lately. No, gosh. Hi, Gareth. <laughs> Gareth, get off. We're doing our mortal paints. <laughs> <laughs> I decided. Screw it. Might as well. Everyone knows what I'm doing. What was it? Oh, thank you for the subscription, Garrett. That was sweet of you. Um, 
I'm like everyone knows what I'm painting, so if I'm gonna do it, I might as well just do it on stream. So this is my base. It's in process, but it's this getting is there. My base. It is also in process, but it's also getting there. <laughs> Wait, are you guys Don't subscribed know. to each other? So yes. you're just really just subscribing back and forth. So essentially no one's actually subscribed to the other. Well technically shut up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> shut up i don't want to watch commercials i want to watch him so <laughs> you're welcome gareth i don't like seeing the tip cups empty you have to read the whole thing. gareth was just saying thank you for the support and he is most welcome and he is it is most deserved and earned but it is also really fun to get the cup full and then bomb it. It's like, it's really fun. <laughs> That's what I've been doing is I'm, I start watching. I start yelling at him ready to fill the cup so that I can bomb it. <laughs> I'm going to go flocking crazy. Not cussing, but you're fun in those cusses. I'm funny. Yes, totally funnier than Discordian. Well, I didn't get Discordian. It's so obvious. You know what an accordion is? <laughs> exactly. Dis accordion. All I'm thinking is I want to live in a Discordian future. Dystopian. Right, but I was playing Discordian, Dystopian. You're not as funny. No. I saw it. Because my brother got all the fucking humor in my head. You're not wrong. <laughs> you shouldn't feel like a hack with a brush, because you're not. I don't know if you've like looked at the stuff that you do, but no. Um but I get that. I, I understand what you mean. I, I kind of feel that way. I'm like, I'm just like slapping paint on something that somebody else made that's amazing. And then I get credit for it looking good. I'm like, it's not me. <laughs> it's the I'm sculptor. It was the sculptor did that, not me. What the hell? One thing I hate about this brush is it picks up so much so fast. Does it? Yeah. Mm. It just, it soaks it up so fast. Which, this is typically a dry brush brushing, so that doesn't really like, matter as much. Whenever you're working with a liquid, it's very difficult. Yeah, I can also see that. Sense. But I, yeah, I, I was, that's funny, Gareth, because I was actually just about to say the yeah. exact same thing and I looked up to see if there was any chat before I spoke. But yes, um, it, it's it's absolutely true that we're going to be artists are their own worst critic. Critic. No. Quidditch. Quidditch. Yay! Um, and and it is we we see all of the little things that that we know we messed up, and it, this wasn't perfect, and this wasn't perfect, but then somebody else looks at it and. They don't see those things. Just we do. So we but need to stop it. Them that, then, they can't stop then you can't stop seeing it. Exactly. But. <laughs> That's a tomorrow problem. It's like I, I just finished that um, Koi Dragon. And I'm like so upset because one tip of the fin is like the fin is supposed to be like this right it just it comes out to a nice little tip but probably a quarter of an inch of the tip from the end of the tip is off slightly and i'm like that's all i see now it's like i i, I don't have any way to fix that it is what it is now but now i'm completely upset about sending this out the door as it is but the only Huh? Maybe you should have just Yeah, done. right. No, Gareth. No. My kid is right there, Gareth. 
It's my kid. Behave. Um, okay, I'm going to go up to the sun spot above that. Go on your trunk go home. And I could have done X better or do Y instead of Z. Oh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's... And I, I honestly thought that's kind of where it was going to... How it was going to end up with the Koi Dragon. Because I had already painted one. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be able to do this better and this better and this better. And on some aspects, I was. Because I was like, you know, one of the things that I found out that I did wrong, wrong the first time. Was I went in and I picked out the... um the scales that I wanted special colors and I, I did all the detail work on that. Well, then I found that getting all the rest of the black scales to look right and look um, all the details that I wanted on them, which really was just a bunch, a whole bunch of dry brushing. I couldn't do that so easily uh, because I had to watch out for those scales. So this time I went through and I dry brushed and did all of my dark scales and got, and got them done really quickly and then I came back with the detail work and that worked really really well except that stupid fin that drives me crazy now because that's all I could fucking see yeah um as as far as critiquing our own work I think at some point, we just have to say, it doesn't matter, and I'm happy, and it's finished, and I love it, and beat up. Um, there are things that I've made that were not great. I could see a bunch of faults in them, but in the same aspect, I was just having fun doing them, so screw it. I feel like my nose is running. I know, right? It's <laughs> it's like ever since I sneezed, my nose has been bugging me. It's like I see all of these jagged little marks on the rocks right now, and I'm like, I'm, I want to fix it. But the fact is, it's getting covered by grass. So shut the hell up and get over it sort of thing. Are supposed to be I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again now. Don't do that. That's helpful. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. I don't know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I did not do anything. <laughs> anything at all. Goober. Oh man. I think you're actually supposed to technically scream a random word at the person. And it confuses them so much that they just don't sneeze. Yeah, but like, it's also, so weird. it's mean. Because what if somebody needed to sneeze? Exactly. My brush is a mess, but I don't really care either. Because they're covering red and napkins. <laughs> oh. I think I'm done typing this for now. Yeah. Um. Worst case scenario is I can add more later or just True. finish the idea. Yeah. But it's possible because of the container, I might actually be able to take it off of the container. That is because very it wasn't true. Sticking, the glue wasn't actually sticking to it. Yeah, that's very true. You could actually be able to pick it completely off of there and then Which you just. Which will be even cooler. Yeah. It'll be very, very weird, but it'll be cool. I am weird. Yes, you are. But you, you get that from your father. I get it from both of you. Well, I this is have, true. You see, when weird and weird love each other very much, they make weird squared. Hi. Weird my squared. My name is Weird Squared, and my life is kind of crazy. <laughs> Turn off the cam before you get up, sweetie. I don't know how to do that. Beard cam? There's a toggle. Nope, don't see it. Okay. <laughs> yes, they are extremely good at dad jokes. Not the only kind of jokes they're good at. But... 
<laughs> bad jokes for my oxygen. That's what they just said in the background. Probably couldn't see that at all, but it's okay. You get the gist of it. I'm just painting to paint. You've never even watched it. Michael Scott did it. Million Dollar Man. Yeah, and Michael Scott. <laughs> Trying to get everybody to get the Million Dollar Man joke. Yeah, it just, it's one of those things where it could go good, it could go bad, but it's my world and it's my universe and I can make it what I want it. So, hello. Do you guys like my bee blanket? Hello. It has bees on it, because I like bees. Insert random conversation here. Oh, random conversation. Also known as Weird Squid. What stinks is I want to work on the clay part of this now. Can't work with clay on wet napkins. Well, you can't work the clay on there, but you can work the clay and because you're going to have to take it off to glue it anyway. You know what I mean? True. I really won't be able to touch anything when I start working with it, working with the air dry. That's true. But I'm going to be here for a while yet anyway, and even worst case scenario, I can walk around and hit the end stream. Would you like some? Just so you guys know, this is pretty much like a daily occurrence. In our, I mean, this is like legit just what our house is like. I wish I had a duck right now. I think it's great because I can just see my hand. <laughs> no. I am also going to be dry brushing green. Mom, can you hand me one of those wet palette sheets? Yes. Want to figure out what I'm talking about? No, I know exactly what you're talking about. I just realized I don't actually have anywhere else to put paint. I don't have the scissors over here to cut, though. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? I got this thing that pinched the ever living shit out of my hand, but. I'm pretty much using. Right. <laughs> That's air dry clay, Cora. Yeah, but it's not the terracotta. No, I, I don't even know where the ter terracotta is. That's what I used for this. I think the terracotta brought that, got taken downstairs. Because Why? I saw it the other day down there when I was cleaning. And I was like, huh, I guess we have two of those. No, we do not. But it's downstairs on the little black shelf in the game room. Mm. Don't know how it got down there. don't know or why, why. It's there, but it's there. Oh, I do know why. It I got. Really knew that. Well, yeah, it got moved when we were working on it, getting everything rearranged. It got put on the black shelf with all the other mini supplies that we don't use on a daily basis. Oh, so you're just like... Yeah. 
Well, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Weird. It's making my hands white, but I guess it's better than they look. Yeet. Hurts. That sucks. It does. Chad doesn't like it. Oh. That's why I'm ho that's why I'm painting like this is because Oh, I thought hurts. you were pointing out what you're painting at. No, it's just a way to keep my finger from throbbing like crazy. I find it very strange that I used to hit, have the most obnoxious hiccups. I couldn't control them, and they came suddenly, so I never—I was never able to repair anyone. Thank, Thank you, you for the bits. Nine rainbow unicorns. Um, but I used to like have the worst hiccups ever, and now my hiccups are reverse burps. <laughs> it's the only way I know how to do it because it's like, and that's what I hiccup like now. It's so weird. But mine, I'm it's not as loud. Mine are like usually the hiccup slash burp, which. Hurt like hell. It's like miserable. Yeah, that's not worse than the smooshing of the other stuff. But this doesn't take as long. <laughs> True. Oh, I'm a genius. Well, I knew that, but why? Rough edges. I'm just tearing it. Well, yeah, because tear clay lends itself. I mean, it, it's the the beauty of clay. Probably too big for what I want, but hair dry shrinks. Well, and that's gonna give you those cracks as well so it's kind of more awesome you <laughs> like the fire guys from labyrinth hey man her head don't come off what's wrong with your head so i'm getting Dangerously close. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Dangerously close to assembling the final assembly of the dragon. Finishing up gap filling and once the once he's assembled, it's gonna be gap fill details and done. What's up, baby? Connected. Yes, I am absolutely dangerously cheesy as well. Somebody saying they couldn't hear me. Do you see me okay? I think it's probably their side. Is that Clyde from the Fall? Hi. Yeah. Groovy. I mean, we've, we've got chat going and everything, so. I'm making a rock. And I have rocks. Ooh, Cora got stuff on your keyboard. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. She's just trying to kill me so she doesn't have to give me her Christmas presents. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, Salda says hi, Ty. Hey, how you doing? It's the Beard Man. Beard Man, come here. Beard Man, come. For Beard Man, Cam. It can't be called Beard Man, Beard Cam, if there's no beard. I mean, it can. It's just wrong. Draw on so many sharky goatees. <laughs> um. Wow, we're going to throw another piece. <laughs> oh, that that's just that's just us. I uh, I was never the parent that taught the kids how to win games by showing them how to win, I kept those secrets close to the vest so I could kick their ass at every board game we ever played. To this day, she still always wins. I 
don't always win. Uh, it's either you win or dad wins. No, that's not Although true. On occasion, I won. It's like I win or you win. I won one time against you. Unless you're talking about two player games, that doesn't really count because we play a lot of two player games. Yeah, so true. The funny thing is, is that chess thing again. That was fun. Uh. <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> um. Yeah, we were. Somebody asked Cora and I to sit down and play test one of their games. And well, it's like my favorite game at this point. Oh, I know. I love playing that game. And it was so funny because. <laughs> no. I don't understand. I know, right? <laughs> Amnesia um, is my favorite game. That's not even a game yet. And it was one of those things where we sat down and it was. It was supposed to be a quick game of, you know, a little quick battle between two players. We did not do that. <laughs> and we pretty much sat down and we immediately went into to chess face. And we're just sitting there staring at the board and both of us. And the guy who made the game, he's like, do, do you guys understand the rules? Like, yeah. Like, okay. I mean, it's, it's just go ahead and make a move. I'm like, no, I'm planning it out. And so I made my move finally. And then Cora is sitting there and just not moving and not doing anything. And he's like, do, do you need any help? I'm like, no, we're good. And... <laughs> Like an hour later, we're finally finished the game. We're like, that was really cool. He goes, it's supposed to be a quick play game. I'm like, no, dude, no, not with us. It's never going to be. When it's a strategy game, one-on-one, -on -one, we are full-on chess mode and planning out every move and then readjusting, you know, 10 steps ahead of the other person. But the problem is, is we're the same person. So we always see each other coming. Yeah, and to this day... The creator of the game has still never beat me. <laughs> <laughs> a little while after that, Cora went and sat at his booth with him, and they were playing and testing the game this way and that way. Like hours, multiple and times. And I just kept looking over, and every now and again, he'd turn around and go, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he finally came over when they were done. He's like, I seriously, I couldn't beat her. How the hell did I not beat her in my own game? I'm like, this is why we plan our moves. Because we're good. <laughs> it's like set up like chess and everything. And it's absolutely like 10 times cooler than chess. Yeah. Um, but he never played it like chess. So we always lost. No. It, it was like Cora and I were playing chess and he was playing checkers. Yeah. And he knew all the tricks. <laughs> yeah, he even knew the tricks. And he was like doing this move and doing that move. But every time he would do that. You'd see the gears turning for me and Cora of like, oh, okay, I'm logging that for later. Logging that for later. And then we use it against him. And then we just slam him with like these big giant combinations. He's like, what the hell? I'm like, that's what happens when you use a little trick. We come up with a big one. Boom, bitch. Boom. It was fun. We need to play that again soon. Because I've been thinking about We need to play it. anything again soon. We just went on hi hiatus for the rest of the year. The year for and a few months. <laughs> Fortunately. For role playing and I hates it. I hates it so much. It's like we have no time to play the campaign, but fuck. I don't like not playing. I would like to apologize to Jake for ending our last campaign at three sessions. That is my bad. <laughs> It didn't get ended. It just got put on pause. Put on hiatus until I create a new character for that one. <laughs> no, we just have to rescue you from hell. And then... <laughs> and then I come back later. <laughs> then we'll we'll start up the other one again. And then I'll have two characters for that one. Honestly, my f I wouldn't be surprised if my first character comes back from hell and be like, Who are you? Like, I'm you. Except better. And they're like, okay, kill you. Instantly. I'm back, guys. And you guys are probably just like, hey, nice to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> just full-on murder my own other character right in front of you guys. It's like the the Viva La Dirtly character that they're they're running in. The, uh, what is he playing? A dwarf? I think it's a dwarf. And he just keeps dying. And he's like, oh no, my 
identical twin, my identical brother, Thogrum the Great. Who are you? Tondrum the Great. <laughs> he keeps just dying and dying and dying. Oh, so much awesome. I'm sort of just in the mode of, I'm going to trust the process. <laughs> With the clay? Yeah, because it doesn't seem like it's doing what I want it to do, but I know it's also doing what I want it to do. You know? Happy tree, let it do what it wants to do. And you make it work. So, on the miniature, he's punching the ground. So I'm making him punch the ground, but I, I'm also doing a light in it as well. So I want the light to come through the crack, but I made the clay thick because it should be thick. Uh, but in the one spot that I needed him to punch, it's really thick. <laughs> this is what I have. Just don't touch it. <laughs> it looks kind of like a face. You said don't touch it. You have to pick it up now. I can't. I can't touch it. They can't see it. You said don't touch it. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do? To touch you and... Well, that's what it looks like. I oh, I gotta stop sniffing. Put him back on it yet to see what it looks like. Trusting this process more. Not when mom says it, but. Correct. I don't listen to anyone else when I do work. I ask for advice and then I ignore it. But I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. I just don't listen to it. There are plenty of times where I give advice and then other times where I, I tell them, look, I'm really busy, so if you're just going to completely blow off everything that I'm going to say, I really don't feel like saying it. <laughs> and I move on with my day. Sometimes when I'm doing this sort of thing, it makes me feel like a super jet. I don't get paid as much. You absolutely well, do not. But that's okay. You know why? Yeah. You can look at me and you tell me I'm growing? Who's your sister, bro? You made your way to the east. Are you going to look at me and you're going to tell me I'm wrong? Am I wrong? Sorry. Mom doesn't get it because she never watched um, good comedy what were you watching oh it's a youtube video from like when you were two i would say probably 2015 ish maybe I so yes i was not two in 2015 you were acting like I'm turning 20. <laughs> i'm gonna keep reminding you guys like actually freak out about it um sweetheart you're number three we don't really freak out about anything that has to do with you exactly the last one thank god mom don't move it look at the look at the screen of the lava oh lava lava so i love you i love you most i love you more don't care i'm the mom i make the rules <laughs> something else Yes, yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that. I was trying to see if the texture would work, and it did not work very quickly. Okay. I don't have any ducks I can drive by. I do. It's special super stuff. That's the one we've been using.
It looks like they were trying to be sneaky about what they were doing. I was trying to be goofy. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one but me could see it. Oh no, but they could see me inch off of the screen. <laughs> and they could hear me slurp. Drive by. Drop by ducking. I'm so much better at it than you are. I dodged it. I didn't dodge it. That's not ricochet. I, I deflected. Words are hard. Yes, words are hard. Deflected was the word you were looking for. Don't. I'm getting glue. I'm getting glue. Ooh. Oh, it looks like glue. It does. <laughs> you forgot to shake it. Yeah, shake, I did. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake your booty. Oh, there you go. It's all perfect. Like, literally, like. <laughs> Poor duck just had a thing screwed into its ass. Well, that's okay. I took the other thing that was up its ass later, earlier, out. The squeaky bit? Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of horrific. It's going to be hilarious to watch Dad try to take this off and it's just going to be attached. Except for the fact that Dad's actually watching so he heard everything you just said, so no. I don't think he's actually watching. I think someone just texted him. <sighs> no clue. Dad, tell us in chat if you're actually here. Yes! Tyler Lee Rucker, if you are live on... Crit I lost it. <laughs> If you are listening to Crip Monkey Paints, say hello. 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 That's too much. Like You're too much. You're too much. Just trying to do kind of a slight blue where the water's going to be the thickest, you know. Also, I'm thinking about doing a little glow effect. Oh, welcome back, Gareth. Well, I haven't decided if I well, want to yet. A lot. You did this. In the, you know, 20 minutes you were gone, that's all we did. <laughs> Put a it's a lot, okay. We put a duck on a mic stand. It's not a mic stand. It's a camera stand. Well, it's supposed to drive on it. I'm sure we could, but we're not gonna. Because no, because we're not gonna touch Dad's mic. How to survive. <gasps> she touched it. She touched it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I... Yeah, I don't think Dad's listening. He would have said something by now. Back in, like elementary school I learned um, a little science factoid and for those of you who don't know um, you technically never touch anything because there's always a thin layer of molecules between the object so when I was younger I used to be like I'm not touching you and they're like you are touching me I'm like no there's molecules and then I'd like run away <laughs> I was a stupid child but you know most are so fight me Okay. See, he's not watching. He said something. I only said that two minutes ago. Yeah, well, he, there's not that much lag, so. There's no lag between me and you. There's no delay. Your lips move and I hear them. Have a new five. Have a new five. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like, there's times where we'll be talking to each other and it seems like super rude and then. One of us will say a random show name, and they're like, you're right. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> you raised me. Okay. So. So. I. So. I think I'm ready to go ahead and put some flocking on, to, to be honest. Sure about that. I'm not. But I'm going to do it. No. Because here's the thing. Once I put the flocking on, it doesn't, like, start or stop anything. You know what I mean? It might make a break. It won't. Because worst case scenario is I take it outside and spray the ever-living F out of it, and it goes away. 
because for reason for a second there i thought you had bleeped out a different word i'm like <laughs> why why bleep out the standard word and not the cuts oh um no because i mean it's like I mean, once the flocking goes on, it doesn't really change anything. It changes the fact that it has flocking. Right, but I can paint over the flocking. I can take the flocking off. I can do a whole lot of stuff, regardless of flocking or not flocking. The flocking flock doesn't get in my way. So, I think I'm going to do some flocking, because I'm, I'm going to have it everywhere. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and start on that. Why am I shaking PVA glue like paint? Because you can. Doesn't mean you necessarily should, but you can. Yeah. I am going to cheat and paint it on. Cheat? I want to cheat. How long in a zoo? I do. Cheetah. <laughs> you know what else was longs in a zoo? Lions. And? And zebras and anything Oof. else from the Madagascar movies and Bears, monkeys chickens that go <gasps> no I won't do it on stream because they would hate me it's too late <laughs> they don't hate me not yet I... <laughs> everyone hates me for it everyone who has heard Bacock in person hates me for it. It is pretty horrible. So stop. No. I'm going to start doing it back. You won't sound as good. I can do it louder and higher pitched. That's the point. I would, That's the entire reason I was a soprano to inquire. Yeah, you shouldn't have been. You're saying I should have been a soprano one? You should have been singing lower. That's where you sound better. But your choir this. teacher only ever liked high pitch fuckers and it drove me insane it's like every single song she ever picked had everybody singing at the highest key they could possibly sing and she just didn't have anybody in bass at all this it, bass is really hard to come by um but i the real reason i was a soprano too is because that is a difficult position to stay at and I'm really good at hearing where I'm supposed to be and staying there. And then all the other Soprano 2s needed me there so they could stay where they were supposed okay. to. But when she is having her entire choir sing at a tone that makes dogs commit suicide for every song. We're not going to be channel friendly much longer if you keep this up. I'm just saying. Like she did not utilize the choir the way she should have. I want to she I'm was a very good choir teacher. She should have been a choir teacher for elementary. And my elementary choir teacher should have been a choir teacher for high schoolers. <laughs> I'm just wondering if like... And she was very nice and I very much liked her. Still do. She's a very nice person actually that is without a doubt true but damn. you're making her sound like a horrible person no 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 it was it i'm just saying like you could definitely hear her preference of what she liked to listen to you know what i'm saying she actually got in trouble quite a few times because um she was picking dog's songs ears were bleeding were inappropriate for high schoolers uh, but it wasn't like it was just kids that were like, I don't want to sing about Twitter. So they would complain to the principal and they'd be like, you can't sing this song. Like, okay. yeah. It was it was weird. And it was just people complaining because they wanted to complain. That's what kids do. Okay. Let's get some flocking done, shall we? Shall we? And if the weather was nice, I honestly would be outside and I would just dump. So you're going to be very careful and not make a mess. If you do make a mess, you're going to clean up immediately. We 
this will maybe be after stream. I don't want that mess. No. Not your dad doesn't want that either. Literally just laying it out, guys. It's I know this is like super <laughs> Kanoko. Kanoko? I creep show got me. Bye, creep show. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, actually, creep show, can you hold on for a minute? And we'll just before you leave, we'll do the giveaway before you go. That way that you have a chance. So if you want to type Mordor in chat, I will do it for you. There you go. If you want to send that into chat, we can do our drawing for uh, one of our mini boxes. The many, many boxes we have. Did I type it right? Yes, I so everybody enter that into chat and we'll give that a couple of minutes and then we will select a winner and you will get the um, box of your choice. Seven, 13 and three are all gone, but any other number beside in one through 20 is still available. You will be able to pick your box and we will ship it out tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, we can go out tomorrow. We're going to keep going while y'all are doing that. Because we've got two people so far. Yeah, like I said, we'll just, we're just going to give it a minute or so. I wish we had like a little chime noise we could do for, hey guys, pay attention, giveaway time. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> I was about to just like make a loud noise. Not scare myself this time. I'm too late. I'm waiting. So freaking delayed. Because you're slow. <laughs> Keep I know, I did. Okay guys, now that you're awake, <laughs> type in Mordor for your chance to win tonight's giveaway. <laughs> feels like forever you feel like forever i know you are but what am i i also bought um over from the jewelry section your dad showed you no it's i bought these and they're for resin crafting for basically like putting little flowers inside of stone for or inside of resin for necklaces and stuff. But I thought those would make really great little tiny flowers all around the base. Based on the amount of people it says there are in chat, I think this is all going to enter. Then let's go and go ahead and do the drawing, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm not doing drums. I'm I'm doing tweezers. Gareth. Yay, Gareth. Congrats. You so can pick a number one through twenty, excluding three, fifteen, and seventeen. Yes. I don't know how I memorized those numbers, but I did. Well you didn't because you were wrong. It's three, thirteen, and seventeen. I'm gonna blame dyslexia. I you said fifteen, not anything that's not and there's a different word for the number dyslexia. Yeah, don't ask Izzy. She'll give you a spiel, and I don't actually care that much. <laughs> okay, Gareth, just let us know which box you want. And they're all the same, except they're all different. Yes. Number five it is, sir. Let's see. See, that's why I said 15. <laughs> Still not that number. <laughs> And uh, I think we still have your address from the um, Turkey Dragon. The Turkin. Night Creep Show. Night Creep Show. Thanks for joining. Let's see. Of course, it's going to be on the bottom row. Haha, <laughs> I found it. Number five. Going out the door. Oof. So, <laughs> um, 
So, yeah, I don't even actually know what's in them because Cora packed them all. And they're all packed very well. Yes. So I'm very good at pick- uh, printer, 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 paper, packing. Packing. <laughs> Although. <laughs> I'm good at all of those things. Okay. The, I, I haven't told you yet, but we did have, we did have damage on the uh, plesiosaur that we shipped out. It's neck snapped. It died in shipping. Did I ship that one? Mm-hmm. I thought you fixed that one and then you shipped that one yourself. Nope. Remember it's the one that you sent the artwork with? Oh, I did do that one. At this point, you pack Why more... Why did you tell me? Huh? Why didn't I? Why did you? Oh, just so you know. Just so, so that I can, I can break your... Yes, so I can break your heart. I'm gonna throw a poison... No! Yeah. No duckies. It's poisonous. No duckies. You're a flappity dap. No, it has a flappity dap. You're a dappity dap. Dapper Dan. A Dapper Dan man. It's a geographical oddity. Two weeks from everywhere. I don't know if this takes too long. Maybe I'll do a second giveaway. Uh, Gareth said, yeah, the one I got was packed quite well, but stuff will inevitably break. Quite a bit of the stuff I shipped to Michael, he had to fix once it got there. That sucks. I some of the stuff that we have to uh, send out is like thinner than like a piece of twine sometimes. Yeah. So it's it, there's not always something we can do to help it. Yeah, some of these pieces are just like crazy delicate. But we do our best, and that's what counts. They say we, but it's actually they, because pretty much they pack all the minis out the door now. Not gonna lie, for a second there, I thought you were correcting my English, and then no. I realized you were just saying my correct pronouns. Yes. So I don't always, but I do always attempt. That is what counts. To fix it. <laughs> yes, Gareth. Yes. But why is the ducky on there, you goober? So I put it there five minutes ago, and it's just not noticed. Well, I've, I've been very carefully putting flocking on. I've been very carefully putting ducks on each corner. We need to get a duck stamp. We can put that on the outside of the boxes. So, here's the thing. No, I, I agree. That would be fun. <laughs> but you... Hmm. Hmm. Gareth? You said that, and my mind immediately went to tramp stamp. And I'm like, no. You could get one of those too. No. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Here's a duck trip stamp. You can get. No. Yes. Honestly, my next tattoo is either going to be the one, uh, the dice that were that me and your dad are getting, or it's going to be the kraken. I don't know which. I want my next um tattoo to be a half sleeve of black and white avatar the last airbender obviously black and gray animated. sweetie what did i say black and white well you still know what i meant so. i do but it's wrong okay well not everyone watches tattooing shows then mom tattoo ink shows tattoo shows and beyond that i have multiple multiple tattoos so i knew what a it's black and gray before I got my, before I started watching the shows. Let's just say grayscale and leave it there. Or you could learn the correct terminology for an art form that you greatly appreciate. Yeah, but not one that I'm going to be paid for. So... No, but it still is nice to use the correct terminology. They're not kidding when they say tattoos are addictive because they freaking are. I, I got one almost three years ago now. And you would have more if it hadn't been for COVID by now. I guarantee it. I absolutely would. Yeah. Or if I was saving the money for it. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Oh. Oh, that's a good choice. Either one would be awesome. Yeah, I I am a big fan. I think I've got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like I'm forgetting one. I got that. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got that. Damn it, I keep getting it. I've got between eight and ten tattoos. I don't know how many. Mine are a lot harder to count. Um, this is my only visible one. And I drove to Louisiana and got that one done with my sisters. So, yes, that's with the sisters. Right? Well, I mean, here's the thing. is like I actually drove you know, 12 hours so that we could sit in a chair next to each other and get it done by the same person on the same day. And then I slept and then I drove 12 hours back home again. So it makes the tattoo mean something even more that we did it together. But the way I figure it is I don't really have to commit to one single tattoo because I'm fat, so I have lots of canvas area. <laughs> Canvases make it work. <laughs> All right, but don't go on. Oh, that's awesome. Sick. Best reason to be overweight. Make your body bigger for more tattoos. And more stretch marks, which makes it worse for tattoos. Yes. Not the most pleasant thing to get tattooed over. <laughs> uh, no, mine's spelled F H A or F A H. H oh, you know what? No, no. F A H. Just... Fa. I'm Fa done. La, la, I'm done. La, la, I'm done. La, la, la. I was trying to spell fat properly and I can't. Uh... <laughs> I was trying to say F A T. Is that how you spell my fat? <laughs> no, F A H. Shut up. Oh, wow, it got late fast. Oh, what time is it? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well. I think it's Friday. Well, I mean, it's one of those things. People can pop in and out. It, it doesn't really matter. I just felt like if I'm going to be doing all this base work, then it was a great time to show people how simple it is to make a cool base. Yeah, base works too. Exactly. Just can't see a lot of it, but that's okay. I mean, I literally slapped a bunch of clay down around the base that Reaper had done. I did put, so this is a wooden frame. And then I got two really thin pieces of wood and put it here and here so that this portion would be raised up even higher. Um, just cause it is the centerpiece. So I wanted it to be, you know, a little more pronounced, but they're fairly, it's a fairly thin rise. You can see, the difference between this and that that's where that that's the break right there gareth said my kids are out the girlfriend is at home just decompressing from her trip so i'm just painting and this was a good distraction see distraction. by out i mean pastel <laughs> but see that's exactly it is you know just like the other night when you were streaming, Gareth, I was just sitting here working on that uh, koi dragon. And it was just, it was nice to have somebody else painting in the background. And it's like we're sitting painting together. It's fun. It's really fun that Cora and I are both sitting here together working on bases. Because <laughs> you are a rock. It's not, I mean, we actually work together on a lot of things. Yeah, sometimes we'll pull out a big table and just work side by side or on opposites. But it's been a while since we've actually done it. There's a lot of times where I'm, we're working on things that, but they're doing one portion and I'm doing another portion. So it's, it's completed together, but it's not done together, I guess. Okay, this is the coolest rock I've ever made. And yes, it is the only rock I've ever made, but. Yeah, my. It's besides the point. I did start up a Kofi uh, not too long ago, Gareth, and that's one of my big goals. Um, I've got a few little small goals, but that's one of my big goals on there is to have people put in enough that I can actually go to ReaperCon because that would be phenomenal. 
I wanted to make a rock to split the lava to add more depth to the sides. Tell me that's not an awesome looking rock. It is really awesome. Look at my awesome rock. You guys can't see it. It's fine. But it's an awesome rock. It kind of looks like a, a the scream face. It got nostrils. It wasn't on purpose though. Man, I'm late. <laughs> it is past my bedtime. You are so lame. What are you going to do when you start work? Um, do the exact same thing except in the daytime instead. <laughs> Gary said it was so fun. I think Dad and I are going again next year, provided he and Mom aren't already going somewhere else at this time. At the time. Yeah, I I haven't gotten to go yet, but I definitely want to. I mean, it's. Pretty much when we go to conventions, we usually have a, a vendor booth. Um, and there's a few cons every year. Or, you know, a few. There's one con that we try to go to every year where we don't have a booth. And that particular con can change, but it's, it's just to rejuvenate the juices, you know. Game and have fun and stuff like that. Uh, for a few years in a row, it was um, Gen Con. I was about to say Geekway, but that's not true. I get that. <clears throat> it's, but that's also one of those things where, like I said, of like being able to go to something like Gen Con, Reaper Con. It would be like Gen Con is great because we can play and play and play and play. Um, not last year, but the last year we went right before COVID, we went and I focused in on a lot of um, miniature stuff and Ty focused in on a lot of role playing stuff. And then like in the daring during the day, we I was painting and basing and stuff like that and he was role-playing and then every evening we were role-playing together so it was a blast and i i mean it's it's really nice especially for ty to get to role-play because most of the time he's the gm so or dm whichever you prefer they seem interchangeable to me which i don't mean any offense to anyone at all but I don't know. It's almost like a pronoun thing. I don't know your preferred pronoun, so I'm. I just go to the standards. The standard DM is what I'm used to saying. I think Dad's gonna do adventure master. I think so. Yeah. He does cool stuff. He talks a lot. Having trouble. Getting these last little bits out. Potato, potato. Yeah, that's it. It's kind of what it is for me. And like I said, I don't really mean like any offense and I'm not downplaying it all, but um, the differences of them. But that's kind of like, I, I don't know. So until you correct me, word comes out of my mouth and that's what happens. Okay. You think you're about to wrap up for night? I do not. Actually, I do because my back hurts. I was about to say, I'm going to have to go get dad. Oh. I'm not going to be done. Well, no, actually, because the, because the stream is just going, you can turn off that one and hand me the mouse and I can end the stream when I'm ready. But I spend all day sitting in a position like this next to my sewing machine and then... I sit like that when I paint. Yeah, and I'm like this typing, and then every once in a while I go like Oh, this. so my back starts to hurt. But I do have, I honestly, I was hoping to like get this to the point of being ready to pour resin. And I don't think that's where I'm at right now. You know what you should do? You should um, take some of that acrylic medium, put it in like some like really small shallow molds, just like paint little fish on them. I was thinking about and then doing. You could place those in there. Why can't you throw stuff at them? And not throw stuff at them. 
have itty bitty baby flowers all over the place. Um, yeah, it, I actually had thought about like putting a layer down and then doing a layer of fish or painting a little fish floating in there and then doing a secondary layer, but that would work better. And it would be less, um, of wait time less and work. yeah, I mean, I do have to wait for the acrylic medium to set completely, but it also sets faster than the. Well, you wouldn't have to wait for it to set completely. You just have to wait for it to set enough for the top layer to be everything. Well, that's just it. Is is I could actually like pour a couple of little circles of acrylic medium tonight, and they'll be set in the morning, and then I can paint little fishies on it, and then put them in there, and then pour the resin over the top of that. So I've got glue on the edges of this, and I also think my timer just went off, or the uh, one of the print step printers downstairs is done. Ugh, which was such a freaking nightmare. I don't even know why the hell this happened, but I had a print, and oh that looks so good it actually doesn't look as good as it it looks better on the on the screen than it does in person but that doesn't matter because i'm taking a photo so um no so i was um i got a print ready and i put it on and printed and then like legitimately my build plate was supposed to be like this and when I went it was like this tilted I'm like oh my gosh I must not have tightened the bolts so I got it off realized my FEP paper was torn so I took that out fixed it um spent you know three hours you know like half an hour getting everything put back together cleaned up and and all that kind of good stuff which is a nightmare in itself but I did it um and then I was like okay so this should be all good to go now. And then restarted my print only to realize there's something severely wrong with that particular file because it did it again. Tore my paper again. Oh, I was absolutely freaking devastated. I was so, so angry. So yeah, that sucked ass. Gareth, I don't think you were here earlier when I was talking about the um, competition for Lord of the Print. So he is running a competition that finishes um, January 31st. And he, the top prize, first prize, second prize, and third prize are printers resin. resin printers you have to print one of his models which well, or you have, have to paint, paint you, have to, you have to paint one of his model models and you have to have it in by the 31st of january so go to my mini factory look up lord of the print and any, 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 any. get your shit done because damn that is freaking worth it I'm going to put some flowers in and then I'll feel more accomplished. Like I've done something more. You've done a lot. <laughs> Which I actually should not be putting the flowers where I'm putting them. Because his tail, if you see this gap, his tail's coming around here. So those flowers are going to be hidden. Know they're there. But I'll know they're there, yes. We. We, we, mon show you. Ooh, we should make cookies. You should make cookies. I already made the batter, sweetie. We just got to cook them. Okay. It's also like every... Well, I know, but it takes like 15 minutes to cook. So 10.45. So anytime I make cookies, cookies, I always make extra batter so that... And then I just put it in the fridge. And then I've like, I've scooped it out and everything. It's already ready to go. That way I can have warm toasted 
toasty chocolate chip cookies whenever the hell I want. Because we make the exact amount we're going to eat so we never end up with stale cookies. Right. But the the three printers that are, they're not the same brand. Like I use Elegoo. They're a different brand. Um, it's like Frozone or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But it's huge fucking printer is first place. I mean, like cabinet doors on it, not a lid kind of thing. And second place is the like equivalent to my Saturn, which I love. And then the third is um, the what's equivalent to the Mars that I have which is still like perfect for printing character models. I just print so many large models that I've, I'm a little spoiled. Oh yeah, you will get addicted to his models in like two seconds. And mom is painting the uh, pestilence and I am painting the death one. Yeah. Um, so she's painting the spider one because I know they don't have the names directly <laughs> on that page. Yeah, on the, when you're actually looking at his models, if you click on it, you can see, you'll, yeah, you you'll see. Yeah, you click in to see it. But yeah, I'm click. I'm painting pestilence, which is the spider climbing the down the rock. The spider, and then I'm painting the really big guy with the really big wings and the death scythe. Yes. Because I like scythes. Literally, the reason I chose him is because feathers and scythe. Mm. Well, not only that, that book is fucking phenomenal. I love, oh, love, love super that book. Super small, so not easy to paint. <laughs> yeah. Look at my blanket. It looks like I'm just going to sleep on TMA. That's funny. I'm going to pick these flowers up. Where's the other tweezers? Yeah, his Tiamat is actually like my number, almost my number one seller on Etsy. Is the Cyberx, 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 T Rex? No, that is my mini, ma uh, mini monster mayhem. Mini monster mayhem, yes. Oh, yeah. Put some pink flowers in real quick. So it, it's definitely something you should look into, Gareth, because holy hell. And he did put up a free beholder, which is also a really awesome beholder. Um, So that if you don't want to have, you know, it has to be one of his models, but that's one of his models. So you can use it to print or to print and paint you know so i thought that was pretty cool too let's go on the other side for now these make really cool little flowers well i know but i'm saying like they're like kind of the perfect size for minis because they were made to go into necklaces but it's just like the perfect little accent. I'm doing things. Yay. I'm getting stuck to things. I'm trying to pull it along, but I can't. I can't keep my our hands even. It's, You're so it's a lot weird. harder than it or it looks. It's a weird angle because I have to go like that. <laughs> I tried though. That's what counts. Yes. And that's why you're going to get cookies. Yes. But I'm going to put them in the oven and you're going to babysit them while I go downstairs and get my prints going. I'm going to fall asleep on the prints. That's fine. Just remember, I'm working on your print. So if my cookies are messed up, your print dies. Which gives you one less chance to be able to use that. that, 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 that You're not going to beat me. You say that. I will not like allow that. this. You're going to be disappointed. Okay, 
I'm going to stop because I'm fiddling for fiddling's sake. Actually, I, I'm not fiddling for fiddling's sake. I was desperate. I did it. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. I, I actually have his um, Godzilla printed out and close to done. But I just really want to paint Pestilence. Jeez. Wow. No, because you knew what I was going to say. That doesn't count. It absolutely does count. You owe me cookies. Oh, I know the Red Dragon when he's got his freaking awesome. That would be really cool. Um, yes, you absolutely need to finish that and win a printer. You can have third place because I'm taking first. They're taking second. So we'll we'll open up I'm third for you. I'm taking first, you're taking second, and then you're taking third. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with any of that. <laughs> um... But no, it's yeah. I I need to mention it to Michael as well because I know he's he's got a printer. So okay, I'm taking first. Garrett's taking second. Mordor's taking third. You can take fourth. <laughs> because I need more printers for my printer farm. I only have four. Like one of mine's not running right now, so I'm down to four printers, and it sucks. I'm gonna win just because I'm too good not to. <laughs> They're not wrong. And I don't have any resin printers either. I do have one filament printer, but it's having a okay. tube lately. So. To be fair, though, um, I'm printing for for the company, so I'm like trying to build my business with my my print farm. Honestly, with the largest one, you can print all of your Etsy orders on that, and then have all the four ones <laughs> just for us. Well, and, and that's just me. that's just is like when I went to the from the pro to the saturn it was like you know the pro is uh, this big i can't believe you got rid of that template i had it forever yet yeah. like the pro build plate is like this big right and then the saturn build plate is like this big and then the jupiter build plate is yeah, double this <laughs> it's like every time they build up they double so the one and i i did back the kickstarter to get the jupiter but that won't be here till april which is um, my birthday present. it's my birthday present I suppose you are, and I know. Um, so the ver the first prize is like the Jupiter that I will be getting, and then the second prize is like the Saturns that I have that are all four running almost. Hey, I got almost that. nonstop. I'll be getting the big boy. You'll be getting the second. And boy. then the third one is the one that I have that runs all my little prints, except for when I rip the screen literally off. So sad. It was heart wrenching. Yes, I wore a duck for tonight. I had one in my beanie, but my beanie got pierced off. The lava does look really, really cool. It really does. Don't rip the screen. So basically, what happened was um, the the vat had a leak in it, and I didn't know. I suspected. So I went to take it off and it was stuck. So I was pulling and wiggling and jiggling. I'm like, I know it's stuck to the screen, but it's not that bad. And I'm like, it's really, really stuck. So I'm like trying to maneuver, trying to maneuver. And I'm like, I pulled finally. And I'm like, oh, I got, I broke it free. I didn't break it free. The screen just came with it. But I also have backup screens. So it's not a huge deal. So basically we've gotten a lot of this portion done. <laughs> So in the center, I'll pour water or I'll pour resin and it's resin will come out this way and then through here as well. So I've got my two sections of water and then I've got my section of lava and then the back of the dragon. That's kind of why I, I built it in this direction is it's it's very off center this way because the wings are so like mammer jammer this way. Um, that I wanted to put the, the weight of the dragon itself and everything forward so that the wings are kind of free of, of any clutter down low. Um, can you, no, like, all the 
Do you swear? Yes. Um, you know, it would be really cool. Yes. Since you have stream and lava, um, and lava going down next to the stream, um, obsidian. That's um, what I'm kind of smoke. going for. I don't want to do smoke. We should do smoke. Dude, I have like two more weeks and I don't even have the dragon finished, so no. I mean, it's just tearing up some cotton balls. No. I have a whole nother competition piece to do now, too. Yeah, but you have a whole month to do that. Yes, but... A month and a half, actually. I also had like two months to do this one, and, and it's... Procrastinated. procrastinated last minute. I, I did. I just started mine. I did figure out Gareth's one, though. And to yeah. be fair... The reason it took me so long to figure out what he was painting was because it was one of the few models that I did not get in our Kickstarter. What is it? Um, I've forgotten his, how to say his name, but it's um, it was funny because like I was on his stream the other night and I was just like throwing bits and trying to fill his cup, fill his cup. I was bombing his cup. And I was like, I think I've earned another hint. So he told me that it was a Cthulhu mythos character so i started like after the stream was over i was like going through all of the pictures on the kickstarter and i'm like i see nothing here that looks like that looks like that and then in the kickstarter itself it only has a sketch of it i literally had to google bones for kickstarter um cthulhu and finally fucking figured it out and i'm like and i don't even have that model that's why it was so freaking hard for me to figure that out because it wasn't even in the realm of possibility for me. So I literally never, e never even occurred to me. Um, but that one is going to look awesome. Is it the chunky boys? Um. Oh, that's not fair. He got in a grab bag. I hate you so much. I've played Cthulhu once. No, he is super cute, He's but no, it's not that. Um, but no, I, I love everything Cthulhu, but I've only played the game one time. It's, it's not so much about the game itself, which is fun. Um, I kind of like the, if you fight, you die. Cause I'm okay with my characters dying. It, it, it happens, you know? That guy. Oh my god. Right? Is that not going to be amazing to see Why painted? Why don't we have that? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, yeah. I, yeah, no. I just want to paint not like cool. I've seen them more, honestly. I mean, that thing is just like phenomenal. Like trees, because it's like roots. I don't know. Kind of either like way. Spindly weed sort of thing. Either way, it's going to be awesome. All right, so we are going to have cookies and 3d printing and what type uh of cookies? how no i i don't have any butter out so i can't make the oatmeal cookies i have to we only can make i mean you could just eat rice crispy treats it's that time of year guys that i have like three or four different kinds of of uh, sweets all the time we've i wish it was year round but bacon well, can't be choosers so. yeah, sometimes it gets like really hot in the house so i don't really want to bake anything um, now that we have the little guy. That's true. I can do it more often. Um, but also, did you know that we got a muffin pan that fits in there now? We did. We do. So was... you can make some muffins for us. Yes. I really like making homemade muffins. They're really good at it. Specifically the chocolate chip ones. <laughs> um, but no, so right now we have peanut butter rice crispy treats and chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> um, so... Okay, put it this way. When I make Rice Krispie, or when I make, uh, well, Rice Krispie treats as well, but chocolate chip cookies, I don't even get out a recipe. That's how often I've made them. I literally just know it from heart. Just I just start dumping everything in the right order, in the right consistency, everything. Um, I've just started making oatmeal cookies, so I don't know the recipe by heart. Specifically oatmeal raisins, because we're oatmeal a family raisins. that really likes oatmeal raisins. Cookies. Well, the funny thing is I never liked raisins for like the longest time. We don't yet, but we need some because I really like snickerdoodles. Um, actually, I already have some dough ready to go for snickerdoodles because, yeah, I don't make them as often because Ty is not a fan of cinnamon because he was dropped on his head when he was a kid. Um, Izzy doesn't like butter, so I 
guess it just runs and that's it. They're weird. Mind. Yeah. So, but I love <laughs> snickerdoodles. Um, but I am getting, I, I found a really good recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies and I love those. Those are really good. I didn't they're used to like them, kind, but now. The crunchy kind. Yeah, they're crunchy not. Crunchy oatmeal co raisin cookies are not good. I like them crispy too, but the chewy ones are really, really good. Um, What's even better is whenever you have two different types of dough in the same thing, and at the end you get to mix the two. <laughs> so I had a, a, a little plastic a Tupperware container that had half of oatmeal raisin cookie dough, and the other half was um, chocolate chip cookie dough. So I would just scoop out, and then Gareth, you're my kind of person. After a while, when we we kind of like we're starting from this end, working this way, and this end from this way, and when we got to the center, we were getting chocolate chip cookie oatmeal raisins, and it was really good. It I'm was. like, okay, I need to make oatmeal cookie oatmeal raisin cookies with chocolate chips as well because the melty chocolate and the raisin, the juicy raisins, Juice. were so freaking good together. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna make um, chocolate. Oatmeal I, next time. Well, well, different sections, but a small part. Dad wants time. chocolate oatmeal cookies with no raisins. Um, yes. It is. It really is divine. So I'm going to make chocolate oatmeal cookies, but then I'm also going to make chocolate oatmeal raisin cookies. Uh, and then just chocolate, or then just regular oatmeal cookies. Yeah, we're, we're going to take a, a batch of oatmeal cookies. And divide it in divide four. Divide it into a million different pieces. One of them is going to be chocolate. One of them is going to be chocolate with raisins. One of them is going to be raisins with chocolate chips. And one of them is going to be raisins. Yep. Because why not? Exactly. Yeah. What's going to happen? We're going to mix them. We're going to get fatter and make more room for more tattoos. That's what's going to happen. And more cookies. <laughs> That extra room I make from all those delicious cookies is going to be a cookie tattoo. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> okay, we I'm really are. monster tattoo. Probably on my foot. You have to be really, really careful because of all of his fur, and fur is hard to get for people to capture. So you've got to be really picky with your artist. I, I could do like one of those ankle tattoos where it's just like the outline. So I could do like the outline, a cookie monster, and then a cookie. But like the cookie is like hyper realistic and then it's just a blue outline of the hyper cookie monster. Or you could just put a cookie with the name Kevin across it. No, I would do a chili pot with the name. <laughs> okay. Or an in, in jar. These are the serious conversations we have <laughs> in our household. But I'm not actually kidding on that. That's, this is kind of a conversation just randomly pops up in our house. Okay, so sneak peek completed. Um, yeah, it, is, it is kind of fun. <laughs> it makes life fun. Um, That's why everyone always wants to <laughs> I do like how... So I put um, a different stuff here. It, it's a different type of flocking. It's like... White, yellow. Texturally very different. Um... Yes, it's more like, see, that's not dry. That's not dry. Yep, exactly. Um, <laughs> but I plan on painting this stuff to be green. So, but it'll texturally be different from that one. I'm just watching the playback. <laughs> okay, we are going to get off of here because I need to go get my printer started and make cookies and go to sleep. I was going to wave bye. And I hit my water pot. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not going to wave.